Max Garrett, hitting trainer. We're going over high, middle, low. All right, Johnny, we got high, middle, low. Okay. Setup's gonna be normal. You're gonna take your regular swings. Big goal here is I'm gonna be changing flips, the, the height and location of the pitch, but I don't want you to change anything. All right, okay. so I want all your ball flight to be line drives, middle of the field. Okay, and the way you're going to do that is by not by moving your hands around or changing your swing, but your posture. So posture to the high pitch, posture to the middle pitch, posture to the low pitch. Correct. So just trying to get line drives on every swing? Line drives, middle of the field. Got it. Let's do it. Here we go. Good reps during the high, middle, low drill will look like this. Hitters will be able to adjust their posture and swing to produce line drive ball flight on each of the different pitch heights. Creating an adjustable swing is the name of the game, and the high middle low drill does just that. By far, the most common mistake we see with this drill is inconsistent ball flight on all of the different pitch heights. Hitters won't be able to adjust their swings from pitch to pitch, and we'll see a lot of rollovers, flares, and mishit baseballs. The purpose of the high middle low drill is for learning how to accomplish pure ball flight versus pitches at different heights of the strike zone, using posture to adjust to different pitch heights, and developing swing adjustability. If you have hitters who struggle hitting pitches up or down in the strike zone, like to manipulate the barrel with their hands, or have a swing that only works to a small area of the strike zone, then the high middle low is a great drill choice.